Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mocha Lover, and let us continue our Hoi4 campaign. So, what has gone on since last time? Well, I've just played the game a little bit ahead of time. Uh, just because we need more time to get our War Justification goal on the Netherlands, which we shall enact very shortly. And we also want to make sure that our ships are ready to help uh, protect our convoys when we invade from Iceland back to Greenland, but not back to the port. The ports are too strong. What we're going to do is we're going to land around here, to Groenland. And then we'll have to spread out a little bit and build up some naval bases and ports. That is our goal, besides to take out the Netherlands, eventually take out all of Greenland, eventually come to this island of Newfoundland, and maybe Quebec or Halifax eventually. Probably Halifax, because we could probably march into there. This is also one region now, yeah, maybe Quebec. Maybe we'll see what happens. That is our goal. I still can't see how many nukes we have. Uh, that's the problem with state transfer tool mod. But, either way, we still have nukes. So we do have a strate strategic bomber up here, which is great. Oh, we will need some naval bombers, though. Uh, let's make 400, and I can split them up. Uh, 400, please, not 500. 400 would be great. And then... Do we have any more heavy fighters? No, I believe they are still preparing themselves in Asia. Let's see. Group de Balmer. Uh, shit, where'd I put them? Fighters, fighters. No, it wasn't there. Maybe, are they not in Asia? I thought I put them in Asia. Because I'm pretty sure they weren't strong enough to get to Greenland from Iceland. Let's see. Those are the ones I just made. Oh, let's go by type. Carriers, fighters, 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 Casablanca, Gibraltar, it's that, fighter, I've got a lot of fighters, tactical bombers, a lot of tactical bombers, strategic bomber, of course, close air support, close air support, naval bomber, uh, Nepal, yeah, they're Nepal here, oh, there they are. So they have more than enough range to do whatever damage they need to do. I don't want to send them into battle yet because there's only 16 of them and we need more uh, of them before we actually start using them. Actually, you can probably go to the bottom. We only need one and we have five. Strategic bombers, heavy fighters, we'll need a lot more. Modern tanks, we need 2100 modern tanks and that's why my tank levels are super low right now. Because I've started replacing some of the medium tanks with modern tanks and obviously we don't have enough modern tanks yet. But that's okay. So to get the show on the road... Let's go ahead and tell this guy he has permission to go, followed by the tanks. Now they're not, they're probably going to get pierced, but they're, you know, they're, they should be strong enough. Only half tank, half strength, but whatever. Oh, they've got some good factories, they don't have very much manpower. And we shouldn't need any of our allies to be called in, so. And that's pretty much the reaction I was, would get from fighting horses and stuff like that. I mean, if you really want to join, I really don't care. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, where is this? So we lost the destroyer. Oh, that's off the coast of Iberia. Nice. Sunk some American ships. Good. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're taken from several different areas. Oops, let's see. Naval Doctrine. Oh, that's Naval Doctrine. It's done. Air Doctrine is almost done. Good. Ceylon wants to help out? Sure, I don't care. Sure, if you really want to join, I don't really care. Awesome. Now, can we not... Oh, we're not doing too bad. Oh, we have a naval penalty, that's why. Uh, just send you guys this way, and then just attack here, to here, to Utrecht. That'll be great. Yeah, we definitely need more tanks. So we're going to have a bigger deficit of medium tanks because we're not producing any more. Mechanized? Uh, let's not get any. Let's not keep any garbage. Anti tank? We don't believe in anti tank. Well, if they can't do well, they can't get supplies, right? Hopefully, we can cut these guys off. Nice. They're pushing in pretty darn well. It's only the Netherlands. They don't have too many land ports, not too many divisions. Economic boom, they're under Wilhelmina for now. They're almost out of extra manpower. Factories are pretty good. A couple of ships, a couple of infantry divisions. Nothing too major about what you expect from the Netherlands. Den Haag. Skip. Cool. 
Awesome. And we can still do the fate of Nepal. We might as well do that. We shall liberate them. Alright. Sure. Come help us. Uh, now, before we keep going on, we got to make sure that this area has enough infrastructure. As well as plane, oh, airplane bases. Uh, that'd be fine. And radar. Oh, wait, we can't build radar. That's awesome. But, yeah, that would be great. Um, I think our, we have enough allies here to the point where it'd probably be okay. Go ahead and do this. I don't mind keeping them there, especially we built up the infrastructure quite a bit. Now, the line is getting kind of thin, but, you know, no one cares. Wait. That's better. That's better. Oh, they're just holding the line. No biggie. No, no, no biggie. As long as they don't attack, we don't attack, we'll all be fine. Except for Russia. Which, actually, I'm attacking their division slowly. Kind of. I've told them the guy to be very careful up here. Even though supply, of course, is a terrible, terrible issue. Actually, you guys could probably win here. Break across and immediately try to go that way, except you or the militia is going to stay there. Working woman. So we get a little more recruitable population and factory output. Very nice. Good money. Expansion might be good. But I like civilian factories. Alright. And, of course, we can liberate the Netherlands. Uh, but I like this whole look of the, the French. I like... Uh, is that the natural borders of France? I think that might be. Anyways, uh, let's see. I really want to wait for my ships to get finished repairing before we really do anything else. We'll be done by August 2nd, which obviously will be done before August 2nd, but yeah, whatever. Uh, that's already level 10 naval base, huh? Yep, it's already level 10. Ooh, advanced landing craft is finished. We still have five ships now. They'll be done by July 25th. Subs could be good. Oh, better battleships. Yeah, we'll use those instead of, you know, over four carriers. Now, we want this to be finished ASAP. Five ships need to be done. There's not too many ships here. And hopefully soon, it'll only be four ships that need repair. So two carriers need repair. And, oh, oh, oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. I forgot about that. We could declare war on them. Oh, oh, we lost 37 planes, and... Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. They have only carrier in 10 planes versus our group. Nice. You guys can go right on ahead. I doubt they'll give you too much of a problem. Uh, I mean, if you really want to join, I, I don't care. They have a non-aggression pact with the Entente. That makes sense. Let's see, their manpower levels are actually pretty good, even though they are on scraping the barrel. Yeah. Should be able to win. But I said that a lot about a lot of things. Oh, too bad I can't get any of that stuff. Those are field martial traits. Go and be a little more aggressive. Make sure they don't have time to move around too much. And break all their equipment, by the way. The Naples Socialist Republic. Also, who's who's leading leading Naples at the time? Quinoir in Dergit Singe. Alright, cool. And they should have quite a bit of yeah, quite a bit of manpower, which is good. These guys probably won't last very long. They have more probably more manpower than actual infantry equipment. Very good. Uh we probably don't need to pay too much attention to here. Probably. That's actually really good for infrastructure. Marines are done. I must go for better motorized. That'll help our hardness. Just a tad bit. Just a tad little bit. Now with you, since... Yeah, let's send in the infantry. I need you all to come here. Like up here. Why? Because I want them to poise to strike into... Uh, Greenland at once our Navy and Marines achieve a landing. A successful, replenishable landing in Greenland. They'll be done within two weeks. Which is great. I don't want to send the tanks yet, but they will be going soon. So, this gives us a little bit of distraction right now to look at. Good. Ace pilot promoted. 
Rifle's attacking. Oh, what is this? New engine technology will boost uh, naval planes. Nice. Uh, you might as well do this. Yeah, just keep going. Better naval bombers. Nice. Nice job, guys. Since we're researching the next one already, we probably don't need to do that. Heavy Fighter 1, we'll need to do better heavy fighters, of course. And I'm going to probably start replacing all my he my regular fighters with at least heavy fighters. At least in Asia and areas that we do not have ease of access to get to. Very nice. Crush them. Do not give them a break, for if you do not give them a break, they will tire out and of course die. Wow, that guy's got a ton of stats. Holy cow. Let's go to... Uh, I think we'll be okay. Should be okay. Wow, we actually got 7,000 more modern tanks already. That's really good. And... Come on, let the number go up a little bit. It's going down. It's not good. Go ahead and keep attacking, guys. Don't worry about it. They can't replenish their casualties. Well, technically they can replenish their casualties. But they cannot replenish... Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, they cannot replenish your casualties. What happened? They had like over 700,000. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, they keep attacking. I mean, no one's going to be able to survive, and that's okay with me. And that's okay with everyone else, at least what I've been told. Seven. Oh, you know what? Our planes and stuff are, should be ready to go. Ooh. Nice, sent two more German convoys. Russia, Russia is basically Afri Africa now. Or Africa is basically Russian now. Let's see, my boys are up here, of course they're starving from supplies. Totally fine, totally, totally fine. Have you guys now attempt to get up here to Rejavik? And our guys should be good enough to go here. All I want is up there, and maybe over here. And Bastille Day celebrations, very nice. Ooh, we sunk a carrier, awesome. Lost a lot of planes, but they lost a lot of convoys. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Bulgaria. Yugoslavia. Yeah. You guys are awesome. And let's go ahead and release the Netherlands. Oh, right. So, liberate the Netherlands as a whole. Liberate the Netherlands, but expand Flanders. Uh, well, since I took Flanders over in all of Belgium, we'll just liberate them as a whole. Maybe I'll release Flanders later. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. I don't know. There's Vlandiern. Ah, the Bat Bat Batavian Commune. After war. Led by David Vinchkup. Patriotin. Nice. Now we've got another ally to call on. If we need one. Actually. Denmark. I forgot about Denmark. How many days would it take to... 85 days? You're telling me I could probably get... an just enough tank divisions to do this great deed to take out the Danes I, I think so I think so what's my guy doing here up here oh you guys can attack from this area wait Dutch East Indies and the Commune of wait what we were at war with the Dutch East Indies hold on hold on we got battleship fours done let's get some destroyers next how far are we on? Oh, we'll finish up the, that battleship first, and that battleship if we can. But oh my God, we need more chromium. Um, anyone here have? No one has enough chromium. I've already bought all of Bulgaria's, and that's still not enough. Russian Republic. God dang it. Whatever. Uh, Dutch East Indies. Did you do something? Oh, we signed a peace deal because. She's the leader of the Dutch East Indies because they took over the Netherlands. Basically, they're kind of like a government in exile at this point. And now they're in the Entente and they'll re declare war on us. Alright, whatever. I mean, I don't really care. They're going to die anyways. Alright, Marines, you should be good to go. Go ahead and try this little exercise. They're going to expand up to here. And those will be the most important areas we need to hold. Are we done with this area yet? Come on. Oh, the Russians are getting involved. Good. Yeah. Yeah, they're not getting a break. No one's getting a break. You're not getting a good, get a break of that Indian Kit Kat bar. Oh, I'm sorry. If you know what that means. Anyways, uh, let's see. Yeah, attrition here. Pretty bad. 
Infantry equipment, though, we've got plenty. Good. Wear them out even further. This is looking not too bad, actually. If we can make an encirclement here, that would be really freaking spectacular. Keep one infantry division here, though. And send, you know, send the militia up here. They're not the strongest division, but they're not too bad, and we can maybe rescue some more Russian divisions. And, I guess, technically encircle some Japanese divisions as well. You come up here. We have landed. We must expand this out immediately before we get attacked. This will be the new landing spot for us. Anything I can do else? Nope. Totally fine with me. Totally, totally fine. I do not want to expand out very much. Uh, there's no real point to, and my guys can dig in, so. And once they dig in, they'll be digging in pretty hard. And that this middle division that's trying to take this new piece of land will be able to go either north or south to help out either side, if should they get attacked. And I'm going to build another port, of course, here. Uh, yes. Uh, since we're... You probably won't have anyone come out of your design areas like that. Negative 1.2, that's a that's a big deficit. I think... I'm thinking that we probably need to switch this to modern tanks already. Go ahead and do that. Because even though that does increase your deficit, that lowers that deficit, so... Yep, and they've been called in. Pretty typical, but we keep sinking a lot of enemy divisions, which is really great. Really, really great. Stupid AI, but it's really great for us. They've lost a lot of guys. We've lost not too bad. The Entente's lost a crap ton. Canada's lost nearly two million men. Pacific States have lost quite a few. German Germany's lost almost a million. Deutsche Asians, not that bad. Wow. Come on. Any day now. And good. Now, you're not gonna move. None of you are gonna move. You're literally gonna stay here on your rocks. On the rock. Right here. You're not moving. You can just stay there and help build stuff up. Gonna get that. Good. Uh, yeah, we've got that going. I doubt we'll need coastal forts, so we'll leave it at that. Do we have battleships? Yes, we do. Battleship forts with upgrades. Here we go. Uh, we want to make sure that this does not get destroyed, so we're going to add more armor and guns to it. Now that I lower the reliability, do that. Do Maybe, can we do that? Guns won't. Uh, actually, guns give you a better firing range. That's really good. Because usually they're really far in the back and the destroyers always get destroyed first. I like this. It's a very balanced approach to building a variant of your battleship. So that's really, really good. And that's almost done as well. Awesome. Nice. That little piece of land has been destroyed. Uh, we should be able to annex them technically very soon. So, there we go. Thank you. Oh. That should be good enough. Awesome. I would love to liberate the Baratia commune, but obviously that's not going to happen anytime soon. I need to get these guys out of here as fast as possible because they're sucking up so much supply. Where's my garrisons guy? Please garrison all of southern India now. Uh, anywhere else? And I think Russia should have all that. We've got that. We will need that area as well, but we're not going to move there yet. Awesome! So far, we're being very, very successful. And we love the success. African coast. Can I build... Uh, oh, they already have maxed out radar? Or... Oh, planes! Yeah, they got planes down there. I can have 300, huh? Tactical bombers, I suppose. Tactical and... Add some fighters. And they're still going to have the same job, of course. They just have a better spread now. But wh where and when they can attack. Or at least where. Ooh, look at all that political power. Export focus. Let's go to limited exports. Because that should probably help out our trade modifiers. So now we're at zero. We still have a little bit... Oh, we now have a little bit of extra... Oh. Oh. I don't want to rely on Romania too much. I don't mind having a little bit of a deficit. That won't hurt too badly. But if, god dang it, Ukraine, if you can't do that, then I'm going to need to get it from somewhere else. God dang it, I'm going back to Romania. Those people are just so hard to deal, hard to work with, hard to deal with, you know. 
I'm really surprised that the Entente has not sent any soldiers up here. If it was me, I would see like, oh my god, someone invaded Greenland. We've got to do something about this. Oh, ch oh, oh. Wait, what? Chile wants to join the Internacional. The workers' revolution in Chile has been greatly successful, a shining model in the southern hemisphere of revolutionary ideas. Or ideals. However, they feel threatened by reactionary neighbors and other imperialist threats and feel like it's time to join the Internacional. Abso frickin' lootly. And we just finished Swiss hydroelectricity. Now it's time to fully support the socialist South American states. And basically, by them, I mean we're talking about Chile. And, I guess their puppet, technically, of a really ugly Paraguay. Argentina, you could have been like this. You could have been like this, but no. You decided to be a puppet of Brazil instead. Pathetic. Cool. Uh, how much longer until this is done? Uh, it's not too much longer until we get some supplies, and once we get some supplies going in, then I can start sending all that infantry that's over here starving for supplies over to Greenland, and they can start for supplies over there. Did I just make it justify... Did I justify on these guys yet? Oh, I did. Good. Only 32 days, and out of 85, but that's not too bad. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm pulling my guys out, because we don't need to really focus on that too much. Um, there's really no place for my guys to go. Really isn't. I mean, I guess I could send you to Russia. Ah, send you to Poland. Take a break in Poland. Warsaw is more, more your style, right? Because even though I have nukes, I've got a lot of good stuff. Yeah, you might as well do that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. They said I had stuff here in Nepal. These are my fighters, which is good. Actually, you know what? I'm going to send one up here because they get a little closer to eastern India. That's good. Get this a little bit more spread. Uh, I, I, I kind of can't believe I lost my uh, fighter. I told him not to move. Yeah, not to get blown up. Uh, let's see where they. Tibet. Oh, they're up here. Tibet. Ah, it's because they took over the airbase. Nice, we actually have the heavy fighters ready to go. They will come down here and they will do an okay job. They're not going to be great, but uh, they will at least give us more than enough range here to work properly. And once we have air superiority, then we can launch nukes, basically from anywhere, into their held territory and then blow them up and of course have a great time doing so. Oh, oh, holy crap, they have a... Russia and our allies have oval, almost like 200, 300 divisions around this area. That's why this is so bad. The AI, why? Why, baby, why? I mean, it's one thing if you want to attack, and there, you know, every single province has been nuked to hell. But, holy crap. Uh-oh. Bolivia declared war on the Socialist Republic of Paraguay. That is my allies' puppet, and that is not good. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Oh, Bolivia is huge! Oh no. Oh no, this is not good. Oh god. Well, they're war with the Third International. They don't have that much manpower. Perhaps we can send them planes. Maybe that's what we can do to help them out. So we don't need any of this. That's a lot of bombers. Uh, let's decrease this by 100. Let's put you up. More bombers. And we'll put you... Put you down here. Down there, we have a hundred there. Uh, let's see, what is this? Fighters? Uh, we could probably use some fighters, even though there's only 200 wing space, or, you know, space up there. Uh, absolutely. You can join. What is this? Fighters? Yeah, fighters are going to be important. Just, Bolivia, as long as you're not in the... As long as you don't join the Entente, you'll be okay. Alright... Ah, uh, now we've got more than... we got three things to supply here. That's um, that's freaking awesome. It's very slow to try to invade the new world. Very, very slow. Mmm. Ah, love water. Yeah, level ports. Honestly, this middle one can probably go... Good, and we can start building up a lot more things here, even though we don't really need it anymore. Uh, factories, dockyards... 
I mean, I, I guess. We don't really need it, though. I uh, suppose. And one more. Cool. Alright. 439 factories is not anything to be ashamed of. That is really good. Oh, we, got, oh, we could change some of this. Total mobilization would hurt us, but I don't really need any more consumer kits. We already have plenty enough civilian factories working on all sorts of stuff here. I don't feel really compelled to do that. Once we have level 2 forts every... level 2 naval ports everywhere here, then we will go ahead and start sh sending our soldiers over. I'll send the infantry armies over, and then send the marines maybe to invade another area? Maybe, maybe not? Hmm. Maybe, let's go ahead and see about this. I want you guys to come here. I'll send two of you guys. Maybe we can expand ahead of time. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Here, let's go ahead and start striking some convoys, because they're going to need convoys to get over there. You go ahead. Yeah, the infrastructure here is really bad, though. Level 1, yeah, maybe it's not a good idea to send my infantry. At least not all my infantry, to begin with. And can I nuke? I need air, an airbase, right? Hmm. Really crappy trying to invade Greenland. And, of course, these attacks aren't going so well. But my puppets don't care. How's this looking? 600 against that. That's definitely not going to be enough. I need way more heavy fighters right now, though. Oh, good. Level Battleship Series A. Yes. Fighters. I can make that go down pretty far. Wait, what? Two? Crap. Uh... Wait, those are naval bombers. Why is it naval bombers? Um. Okay, this is weird. Uh, let's see. Carrier fighters are fine. No problem. There's two. Oh, we're not making. We, uh, I suppose we can make more infantry. We can make more military factories. Let's put you near the bottom then, actually. Since you should have enough of everything. Going forward, let's make at least, I don't know, a couple things of military factories. That'll be good. That should be sufficient for everything. Good, good, good. Awesome, I think we have. Oh, oh. Hello, Guatemala. Are you surprised to see. Marines here? French Marines? I bet you are. You have no chance of survival. And if I can take that port, it's only level 1, that'll definitely help our supply. However, that'd be great. People are getting called in. I really don't know how they can survive without supplies. Ooh. Oh, well, there's some supplies there. They're trying to disengage, but that's not going to work. And yeah, these little pieces of Africa are not going quietly. Oof. Oh, I guess the German government exiles until Madagascar. Oh, what's going on here? A couple planes, a couple planes. How's our navy doing? I don't want them to get too damaged. That battlecruiser has got hit quite a bit. But we have eight battleships, seven battlecruisers, 42 destroyers, and four carriers. Got some okay battleships. Qu quite a few battlecruisers. Some... We've got two pretty good battleships, though. So they're nothing to scoff at. Wow. Everyone wants to just to attack constantly. What happened up here? I, I was not even paying attention up here. Yeah, you guys be a little more aggressive. I'm really surprised that the Japanese haven't done anything more to fight up there. That would be a really good prime location for them to target and fight. But I guess not. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's that's good enough. We don't need to really focus on that too much. Ooh, and those convoys, of course, are lost. Uh, if we attack... Oh, wow. This is going a lot better than I thought. That would be kind of even, but, you know, I guess 40 width versus... What is that? Oh, 13 to... 15 to 24 is 48 width in total. Ah, they're dead. Awesome! We just got another thing there. And... Oh, no. Socialist Republic of Italy has, ki has came over. Uh, actually, you can go there. One of you guys come back here. Good. Oh, yeah. We're thinking a lot of things. It's really good. Yeah. 
Yeah, last couple planes, no one cares though. Last, oh my god, this is not... Jesus, what the heck. I mean, it still seems to be going okay. That's what, that's what really matters. Uh, go ahead and repair though. Go ahead and repair. I'm being very, very cautious about my navies. Very extremely cautious. Do we have enough for another group of heavy fighters? Yes, we do. Good. And it's just in time to declare war on Denmark. You know what? Not time to go home. For now, just go ahead and surround Denmark. We should be more than fine doing this. No issues whatsoever. Hopefully. And I know it's about time for us to wrap up, but that's okay. And I believe we should be able to successfully win next time. At least finish off Greenland and take out maybe maybe even Newfoundland. We'll see what happens there. But of course this area, this sea here between Greenland and Canada is going to be very contested. Which is going to be kind of a problem for us. Uh, we can get rid of these forts. Obviously we don't need them anymore. Our, my plan to silently invade Greenland has definitely paid off. Uh, let's start landing some of you guys over here. Even though there's no protection, we sh should still be okay. Odds are they won't even garrison that area. Let's go ahead and go to war with them. Our tank should be feeling much, much better than before. Oh, I need to call uh, these people in. And, of course, they kind of have to be called into the war, or I would probably kill them. Good. And our tanks shoot. Uh, it looks like they're winning. Very nice. Good, do that. How is this going over here? Uh, it's not going super well. I want to finish off Denmark before we are done, though. So that is why I'm waiting. Bombers. Go ahead and try to help out there. Oh, actually. Maybe we can send our bombers up this direction, actually. And you can attack up here. There we go. That sounds like a good idea. Odds are Denmark will fall pretty quickly. And then we'll liberate their workers to join the Third International next time. Come up here. We could really use the extra support here. And we are helping them out. Next pilot promoted, very nice. Uh, Paraguay, actually, even though they're already on scraping the barrel, and Chile is also scraping the barrel, and Bolivia is not, they still combine to have more total manpower, at least at the current moment. That looks good. Uh, I really want to finish up this up on the left side of the focus tree first, just because it's kind of staring me in the face. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, this is the, the Danish Navy that has no longer with us. Oh, the horses did great! Good job, horses! Go ahead and go down here, then. Yeah, Denmark is just... They're not a player. I'm sorry if you're Danish, but in this game, at least at least in this time period, you're not really a super strong player. Awesome. Let's go ahead and finish this group off by taking out up here. Uh, if you want to really join the war, I don't give a shit. And the war's over with them. Take all states. Awesome. Let's take a look at Europe. You know what? That looks like a good European Union. Ah, I love the blue. Anyways, we're going to end our episode here. Um, what have we done? Well, we weren't... We're, we didn't accomplish anything extremely major, but we've made some pretty good strides. What we're doing in India is trying to improve our air superiority using heavy fighters so we can encompass all of Eastern India under one... Uh, under one... I guess, you know victory or, you know, under one influence of heavy fighters so we can eventually win and nuke all the enemy divisions over there so we can start advancing our soldiers because having 500 divisions on the border with Japan and Siam is a little ridiculous. But that's going to happen. Uh, up here in Russia, we have pretty much reclaimed all the land, which is really, really good for Russia. Uh, actually, I might send these guys to help kind of garrison everything. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so that's pretty much all everything in the east. Africa... 
slowly coming under control. We've taken out a portion of Greenland, which will serve as a naval base to invade Newfoundland and the Northeast Canadian coast. Once we, you know, of course, crush everyone else. And, uh, yeah, we added Chile to the Third International and its puppet Paraguay. And they're going to eat up and destroy Bolivia, which will, of course, in turn, join the Third International, which would be great. So, guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe to the European Union. And hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.